We're here today because we're outraged. We're outraged by the fact that Selby Botanical Gardens, which is a nonprofit organization committed to the preservation, conservation of native Florida orchids and their habitats, is partnered with the most infamous, the most notorious destroyer of Florida ecosystems and natural habitat in the state. That's Mosaic Fertilizer and Strip Mining Company. So we're here today to try to make our truth known to the public. Selby Gardens is accepting financial contributions from Mosaic, and yet this company is responsible for hundreds of thousands of acres of the destruction of native orchid habitat, epiphyte habitat in West Central Florida. This is a travesty which has been going on for more than a century now, and it continues decade after decade. Currently, Mosaic Company is applying for permits to mine an additional 50,000 acres in Hardy, Manatee, and DeSoto counties. So it's very important for them now to create an image which is acceptable to Floridians. They portray themselves as a company which is responsible, which reclaims everything that they uh, mine, which is only partly true. There are severe environmental impacts as a result of phosphate strip mining. The mere scale of strip mining in Florida is astronomical. They've already mined some 400 square miles of what was once native Florida habitat. And the problem with this kind of mining is that they not only disturb the orchids that are growing, but they completely decimate the kinds of subtle conditions in the soil and the soil structure that would ever allow that kind of habitat to grow again in Florida. So this is permanent eradication of Florida's ecosystems. Uh, I um, find it extraordinary that a hundred, over a hundred years organization like the Murray Selby Botanical Gardens would ever, we, we think of them as the grand old dame of the environmental in, in Sarasota movement. And here they, uh, they, they accept money, you know, fully knowing that it comes with strings attached. And, and uh, this, this is an organization, uh, Marie Selmy, that, uh, you know, that they're there to promote and to uh, believe in the restoration of rain for, uh, uh, rainforest and orchids. And here you have uh, a company that comes in and buys them, literally, uh, with a promise of some sort of like little uh, rainforest garden that they put in. And you know, that's, it's a hell of a way for a, a fine organization to get this, uh, this blot on their face. Everybody expects you to be somewhat, you know, believe in your values and stuff. And Marie Selby has always been like that. Yeah, it was a, it was a real disappointment to find out about this, yeah. Well, if you take an uh, organization like Selby, which in their mission and vision statement have committed to conserving uh, wild habitat for orchids, mm -hmm. um, then it's especially disillusioning to see that they're not, um, that they're accepting these uh, gratuities from the phosphate strip mining industry because it uh, compromises their integrity as an institution. And you would expect that Selby Botanical Gardens that are committed to the conservation of epiphyte habitat would be leading in that area instead of submitting immediately to the very industry that's destroying that habitat and compromising their integrity by accepting money from them. Once you've accepted that money, then I don't think you can uh, uh, really examine the objective truth anymore. Point well made.